Okay, so this Pilates class is mainly for low back pain. So at the start, I have McKenzie exercises, which are exercises that are used um, for people that suffer with low back pain and several different injuries. So they're basic enough, um, and this um, class is kind of slowly paced and more about your breathing and relaxing and just getting all those muscles relaxed. Um, so we'll first, all you need is a pillow if you need it for some of the exercises, if the back is too sore, um, and that's it, and just your mat. So, for the first exercise, we'll just get our core engaged. So you're gonna lie on your back, with your knees up, you place your hands on your rib cage, both middle fingers together, you're gonna inhale deeply, and exhale. And on the exhale, your two middle fingers should come apart. So deep inhale, and exhale so trying to use your diaphragm and get that breathing there so deep inhale and exhale then you're going to check your neutral spine so you place your hand underneath your lower back and if you can't get your hand underneath that means that you're not curving your spine during the exercises so place your hand underneath, if you can't get it underneath, you're pressing your spine down against the mat, okay? So keep going with our breathing, so we're going to inhale and exhale, keeping that neutral spine. next is the bridge so again you're going to lie on your back you want to make sure you're neutral so you can place your hand underneath your lower back and make sure you can't get your hand underneath so your spine is squashed onto the mat okay and then you're slowly from your hips going to bring your hips up all the way up towards your shoulder blades you're going to hold it there you're going to squeeze your glutes and then you're going to come down from your shoulder blades vertebrae by vertebrae imagine those pins trying to pin it onto the mat and then back up starting from your hips imagine those pins squeezing the glutes engaging your core and then back down let's do three more of these squeezing those glutes engaging your core and back down And one more. Okay, good. So, the McKenzie exercises. The first one is lying on your stomach. And all you're going to do is turn your head from side to side. So just trying to relax all your back muscles. So you're going to lie face down. Then you're going to turn your head to the side. Just breathe, breathing in and out. Place your hands by your side or you can place them at your waist. So hold this for 30 seconds. Breathing in and out. Deep breaths. relaxing all your spinal muscles and then you're going to take your head and turn it to the opposite side breathing in and out Okay, so you can do this as many times as you need to, just to get those spinal muscles relaxed. The next one is you're going to grab a pillow, and again, you're just going to place it under your tummy, hands by your side, and you're going to turn your head from side to side. Deep breaths in and out. Just relaxing all those back muscles. And 
and holding them for as long as you like. The next exercise is you're going to be on your elbows and you're just going to arch back, hold it there for 10 seconds and relax down and back up. So inhale to begin, holding it for 10 seconds, and then exhale on the way down. And back up, holding it for 10 seconds, and back down. Inhale, holding it for 10, and exhale. One more, inhale, and back down. Next exercise is the extension. So you're gonna place your hands just underneath your shoulders by your side and just arch back and just hold it there. Again, for 10 seconds, do this three times. And relax back down, inhale, Hold it for 10, and relax back down and exhale. And then back up. And relax back down. And one more. And relax. Okay, next one is a standing one. I don't know if you can see me too well, but you're just gonna arch back. So just do it kneeling to show you. So all you're doing is arching back. So again, you can use your pelvic tilts. To arch in your back. You can do 10 of these, we're halfway there. Okay. So next is lying. And use your knee tucks. This is when you lie on your back, you grab your two knees and just hug them in tight. We have to inhale and exhale. And again, these exercises are slow and controlled. Just focus on your breathing and relaxing your back. And relax back out. Deep breaths in and out. Grab the two knees again. Just hug them in tight. And relax. Do one more set. <coughs> Bringing the knees in. Just holding them there. Don't forget to inhale and exhale. Okay, and the last, the Mackenzie exercises, is standing flexion. So that's when you're coming down. So you're going to inhale to begin. You're going to exhale and just arch down. And just hold it there, feeling that stretch. Then you're slowly going to walk the hands up the legs. Imagine those pins on your spine, pinning the back wall behind you, around the shoulders, around the hands. Exhale. And back down and just hold it there. Three, two, one. Walk the hands back up, round the hands, and back down.
Okay, that's the last of the Mackenzie exercises. So we're going to move into the Pilates exercises um, that are good for the low back as well, but they're too sore, um, I wouldn't do them, okay? Um, so the next one is Cat and Camel. So again, imagine those pins on your spine. You're first going to, again, start from your hips and you're going to imagine those pins pinning it to the mat and then pinning it to the roof. So you're in an all four position, so make sure you're aligned first. So that your hips are straight underneath your knees, that you're in a neutral back, your arms are locked out and your arms are underneath your shoulders. So you're going to start at the pelvis, you're going to tuck down, so you're going to, as if you're tucking your bum out, then you're going to bring the spine down, keeping the head where it is, keeping those elbows locked out at the last second, then bring the head down. Feel that restriction in the spine, and then you're going to tuck your bum in, and then let the spine come upwards. The last second then, tuck the chin into your chest, and just hold it there. Okay, we give that another go. So slowly and controlled, make sure to keep those elbows locked out. And again, just imagine doing vertebrae by vertebrae. All the way down. And all the way back up. We do three more of these. And one. And relax back then into the cat pose. Or child's pose, sorry. So just arch your back. Hands in front and just hold it there. So inhale and exhale. Bring the hands to the side and hold it there. And the opposite side and hold it there. Okay, next is single leg tucks. So you're lying on your back again and you're just going to bring one leg in and then switch legs, leaving the other leg to hover. So we're going to keep that arch out of our back. Before you start, just to make sure, place your hand underneath your lower back. Make sure you can't get your hand in underneath. Don't have a neutral spine and you're not arching your back and putting it under pressure, okay? So you're going to take one leg Straighten out the other and then switch. Don't forget to inhale and exhale. And relax, bring those knees in, just rock them back and forth. Another set. Inhale and exhale. Relax and rock back and forth. And last set. Okay, next one, you're on all fours. Again, we're just gonna do knee hovers. So you're gonna have your feet on the mat, dust your toes and your hands, and then raise up your knees. So this is a stability one. So we just wanna hold that pose for three and then relax back down. So three, two, one, and relax. You can arch back to child's pose if you like. And again, three, two, one, and relax. 
and one more three two one and relax Okay, next one you're lying on your back. <clears throat> Single leg toe taps. So you're gonna bring your knees to tabletop position and place your hand underneath your lower back. Make sure you're in neutral spine. And one foot at a time, you're gonna tap the mat. That's it, make sure your core is engaged. You can inhale and exhale. So inhale to begin, exhale as you touch the mat. Inhale and exhale. And then to relax, bring the knees to the side, arms over and just stretch it out. And switch sides, legs to the side and arms over. Give that another go. Up. And stretch. And last set. Inhale and exhale. Make sure your spine is in neutral. And relax. Last one is the pigeon pose. So you bring one leg to the front, go to the back, 